Hey, greetings to all of my friends on YouTube and Facebook. Um, the end times breaking news. So much is going on. It's just it's just blowing up. You notice I haven't done end times breaking news videos for a while. You know why? There's two reasons. First of all, people aren't interested in hearing the true breaking news that I bring. They want to hear the outlandish lies that all of the um, false teaching of Satan broker Christians on YouTube bring. They want to hear the outlandish things that are not truthful. And when I put out videos or stuff that's truthful, people get bored with seeing the same things on the end times news and they just start yawning because Christians start getting complacent. That's the small reason. The big reason is there's just too much happening. It's, it's almost impossible to single anything out. I've given you breaking news on all the key end times things you see in Matthew 24 when Jesus described <coughs> what things were going to be like when he returned. And it's just amazing. It's amazing what you see. It's incredible what's going on. And people are just blind. They'd rather be caught up in gossip and caught up in be doing busybody devil's work than to be doing the Lord's work. And they don't care about the imminent harpazo catching away rapture. They don't care because they aren't going. Most of them are going to be right here. All these fake frauds are going to be right here with their own little gossipy buddies. And they're going to be stuck left behind after the imminent harpazo, and they're going to be here for seven years of hell, and very few of them are even going to make it to heaven after that, because they're so dumbed down right now with the Holy Spirit still here. Imagine what happens when he leaves with the bride, and only a tiny bit of him is around because he's omnipresent. Imagine what happens to him then, when that happens. Just incredible. It just dumbfounds me to see how little the bride knows well, the, the true bride knows but how little that Christians know about the bride of Christ and about the rapture, harpazo, catching away, whatever you want to call it. It's in the Bible in the original Greek and Hebrew texts. Wake up out of dreamland and start take a drink of coffee <coughs> and start smelling the roses. But it's just, it's unbelievable what's going on right now. Things are just, like I said, they're just out of control. The Antichrist has his kingdom all ready to go and he's Barack Hussein Obama, for those who don't know. His false prophet, Pope Francis, has all his stuff ready to go. And yeah, I know, don't nitpick with me. They aren't the actual Antichrist and false prophet yet. They won't become that until they're Satan incarnate. And don't try to tell me that no one can know the Antichrist before the Harpazo because the Bible says in Revelation, look for a man, he who has wisdom, that's the key. Very few have wisdom anymore. He who has wisdom, look for a man in his number is 666. That's his name. That's his number. 666 is the number of this man. Look it up in Revelation. Look at all the videos I've done that show that number 666 belongs to Obama and no one else. It, that number follows him like a bad habit follows people. It's just unbelievable. It's just so crazy what's going on. So crazy what's going on. You know, I look back in my life, in my younger life, <coughs> when I was growing up, and they still preached hellfire and brimstone. I thought we could be gone any moment, but the world was so much better and so much different. And then fast forward, you know, I joined the military and served 20 years, mostly with the Marines, with recon, with the grunt slash infantry. And things start going crazier and crazier from there. And things start degrading, you know, slowly, but, but there's a, a huge noticeable difference from when I was a, a youngster. And then you look at it now, since I've retired and since things, since uh, Obama's gotten into the White House, things are skyrocketing. They are snowballing. We are on the cusp of eternity. Nothing has to happen except for God to send Jesus back. We're waiting for God to decide now's the second, and then boom, blink your eyes. That's how fast it's going to be. But see, again, most won't be ready. Most aren't focused on the kingdom of God. They're focused on teaching false doctrines and false gospels. They might teach most things right. They teach some things wrong. Most teach most things wrong. And again, they're, they think they think life's a big soap opera. They think it's Peyton Place back in the 50s. And you know, that's, that's a really old soap opera. It's before my time, but I grew up hearing about it and all kinds of crazy stuff going on as, as YouTube turns. They're all worried about just things that don't make any difference. They don't focus on God and Jesus Christ and the Bible. And they think they're so smart, but they always end up with egg on their face when things end up coming out. And the bottom line is this. Like I said in a video earlier today, Jesus told me, God told me, the Holy Spirit told me, I need to keep focused on what I'm doing and that they have saved my life dozens and dozens and dozens of countless times for a reason. 
and people who try to interfere with my ministries for whatever reason, the Lord is going to deal with you. He's already told me, I fight your battles, Paul. I've kept you alive for a reason. I will deal with your enemies in short order, and they will know where it's coming from. God's not playing around. I am trying to get the word out. I'm one of the few out there that does. There are a few others besides me, but there aren't many of us around anymore. There's always a few, a remnant, but there aren't many. Most, like I said, are too tied up in today's day in their daily lives, trying to be rich, trying to be nosy, trying to be busybodies. They don't care. All I'm focused on is pointing the loss to Christ, encouraging and counseling those who need good Christian counseling, keeping my own heart right with the Lord, repenting when I sin, picking up the Bible, reading it every day, praying every day, witnessing night and day for the lost. That is what I'm focused on doing. Nothing else. I don't care about anything else. And like I said, I'm not answering any more questions about anything unless it's actually related to ministries. I'm done with it. I'm focused on Jesus Christ, focused on the prize, and I'm getting out of here soon, and I pray that as many can come with me as do. Here's what's going down. For those who don't know, as soon as the Harpazo happens, all hell's going to break loose soon after that. Whenever God decides, he's going to start the tribulation, and before that, it's going to start breaking loose as well. <coughs> the earth is going to change drastically, I think. We'll do a 180 instantly and only digress from there. I think things are going to just be hellacious before the trib even starts. It could be years before the trib starts, only when God decides for it to start. But God's going to rain down bold judgments. He's going to rain down vile judgments. Satan's going to be here with Obama and, and Francis making the unholy trinity, just tearing this place down to, to the bottom. And about one in three of you who are left behind will actually be alive at the end at Armageddon. That means that two-thirds of you are more than likely going to die and go straight down to hell in the lake of fire. I'm not telling you that. The Bible tells you that. Because most of you will take the mark. You won't even think that the harpazo happened because you're clueless. You don't know anything, man. It's just so sad to see how Christians, the Bible's our sword. It's our shield. Very few Christians even know what's contained in those pages. They just twist it so much and pervert it so much. But it's going to be, every day, it's going to be like you're going to wish that, that you were dead rather than live through that. And those days will probably feel like months and years per day for seven whole years plus whatever happens beforehand. You better wake up, my friends, because time is truly short. If you've never been saved, or if, you're in back, or if you're backslidden, pray the prayer I have in the box below the video title. Do the six next steps, because no one's guaranteed more time in their life. I'm going to keep putting out whatever message the Lord gives me. I'm going to be teaching you from the Word, and you believe what you want to believe. I'm going to bring it to you, and that's what I'm going to do until He calls me home, either by death or rapture, whatever happens first. I'm ready to go, man, but i got work to do like the Apostle Paul did before then. Also in that box is my Tribulation Survival Guide video. It tells you how to get saved, what to expect from A to Z in the Tribulation. And Christians, you need to just keep living for the Lord and just keep witnessing and praying, planting seed. That's what we do. We plant seed. That's it. Witness, pray, and walk away and let God do His job. God does all the work. But true Christians, look up, my friends. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. Have a blessed day and get the word out with everybody you possibly can. Thanks. Bye.